All right, and we are here with Corey Belmore here in his hometown, Windsor, Ontario. Amazing race out there, Corey. Walk us through how the race went for you. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's awesome to have these people out here. Uh, super happy to, uh, to put this on and, and bring it back to Windsor. Uh, so, honestly, like, this is a dream come true. And you can't, brother. Sorry, can you hear us okay on the live feed? Just checking that. Can you hear us okay? Test one, two. Okay, we can hear you okay. Yep, you're good. All right, Corey, back to you. Finish up how your race went out there. Yeah, the race was phenomenal. Uh, definitely try to go a bit even more, even pace laps. And uh, happy that all these people came out. Happy to put on a show and uh, close the world record again. Uh, but, I mean, nonetheless, like, putting on an event like this in my hometown is a... Uh, Awesome feat, so uh, just happy everyone's here for sure. You know what, Corey? No other human ever has run close to a four-minute mile and drank beers under 30 seconds like you have. So <laughs> tell us a little bit about what it means to be here in front of the home crowd for the live feed, and then we'll let you speak to the people here live. Yeah, I mean, uh, stomach hurts a bit, so uh, happy to suffer and uh, feel like this when there's a bunch of people that I know and huge uh, support, huge run community here. So. Uh, yeah, I mean, you don't feel the pain as much and, and the suffering as much when there's people like that in the stands. Well, we'll let you get to it, Corey. We're going to get you a live interview here in front of the crowd with your home people here. Congrats, Corey. What an amazing race. Thank you. Thank you. Back to you guys. Yeah. All right, rolling whenever. Dude, an, a retirement. A possible Is that retirement. legit? A possible retirement. A possible retirement. I mean, I, I think it was the uh, the hectic, hecticness that you guys experienced last year hosting the event, making it all come to fruition. For sure. Uh, that I think after this one, Step away for a bit, reevaluate. But then I okay. also heard it's in Amsterdam next year. So uh, yeah, you, hey. Nick, is he gonna actually retire? <laughs> well, I know there's a lot of beer mothers that want him to retire, but I don't. No, no, no. I'm just, <laughs> that, that, like, uh, but no, I mean, just think, you know. Uh, I'm just kidding about that. But I don't know. I, I think uh, that's up to you, man. You have to really like want to, you know, do it. And maybe like a year away. Re recharge the batteries. And that's, it, a, that's not a thing I need. But I have a feeling like, you know, you'll, we'll get to the fall and the spring and Mark will call you and like we'll keep calling you and uh, <laughs> you'll keep calling and calling and calling and you'll show up. It's like just show up and announce. Just show up and... Uh, I will say, it would be very difficult to give up the connection to this community. Yeah. That, I think that's, that would be the toughest thing. The beer monster, uncomfortable, tough. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but uh, just know that like, you both are loved and we appreciate everything you guys have done. I'm not trying to throw dirt on your graves yet. <laughs> uh, you still have, you know, uh, beer model careers can last as long as you want. And like, you know, there's always legends races and 10, 10 years from now. And uh, But, you know, we take it year by year and let's just get through tonight and then yeah. we evaluate. And, Get I married, and, you know. That's come, right. Yeah, there's, there's, know, there's like, a lot of things on the horizon. Yeah, there's That's so many sad. important things in this world, and uh, there's so much you got going on this next year. Just take a deep breath, and like th this was a big lift. And you both had big lifts, and uh, just uh, just take some time and enjoy life. And like, this is this is I uh, hopefully this is a great thing that you guys get to do every year, and you want to do it. Yeah. But, like sometimes you need a break, even from the things that are the greatest things in your life. For sure. I've thought about taking breaks from this too. So. I have, a question, I have a question for both of you. Yeah. yeah. What did you think of the Windsor community coming together and making an event like this? Uh, they were lovely, man. This, like, I mean, that was one of the things I was looking forward to, is just meeting your people. And, you know, they, I mean, they're really out here for you. And, like, so many people were like, oh, Cor you know, if you mentioned the race, like, it's Corey's race. And so, I mean, I, I love Canada. And I, I mean, like, I give Canadians just a hard time. When <laughs> but, but it's just... Uh, uh, beautiful people and just so welcoming and everyone's been so nice to us here that brewery run last night a lot of people were there yeah yeah, yeah. I, didn't, I didn't run but just seeing like the the crew outside yeah it's a big that's a big group run it's that's a big yeah. group and, run. That, and that's consistently every friday you get at <clears throat> least that many people or more sometimes yeah. slightly less but you always get consistently that that sort of group of people so wow. yeah, uh, wow. and there's a group run Every single day of the week in Windsor, there's a run club going on somewhere, yeah, that's which great. is crazy. It's great. So. And I mean, uh, we had less people this year, but the times were just comparable. Oh, like, yeah, everyone, absolutely. Everyone stepped up. So many PRs and like uh, uh, getting back to the racing part. And uh, yeah. but, like the running community, yeah, it was great. And uh, I mean, 
we're really happy to be here. Yeah. Can't beat this venue. Man. And the track got I finished mean, four days ago. I that's, know. That's pretty crazy. Track, I There's mean, literally two, two <coughs> finish lines on the track. Yeah. The so. first people on the track, you actually have stands so yeah. people can watch. Yeah. Like, yeah. The track's I, clean now. This, is this the best, the best facility ever? Oh. I think it might be, to be honest. Well, I'm no, uh, barring like nice. San Francisco is a different type of San, venue. Well, no, no, San Francisco was on a field and it was right. It was right. terrible. I guess like, it was it was cool because it, there was a lot of people there. It was cool. Uh, outside that, of that, though, if you take, I don't like, think there's a better venue. Was, and nobody Island. in the venue. Treasure Island. Yeah. This yeah. is yeah. this is comparable. You know, if you're looking at the track, uh, Lund, but what we did in yeah. London was pretty. That's true. Great. I guess yeah. I'm just yeah. putting this above that because the turnout was better. Oh, uh, the but. turnout here. Uh, yeah, San Francisco was just a, it was crazy because no one had ever seen a beer mile. Right. And it was in our hometown. Right. Uh, Chicago was amazing. Uh, lots of people, lots of energy. Uh, uh, probably, like from a production standpoint, probably the hardest lift, and yeah. he did it. Yeah. Uh, and as far as just like a concentrated core of people right at the show. That's what I say. That's just like it felt like more energy here than Chicago, even if attendance was similar. Just because yeah. it's like, well, they had the it's, it's right there. It's right yeah. there. Yeah. 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 It's so yeah. it's it was great. The, the thing about Chicago is. You had that group, you had those tents, you had that set up, but like everyone stand in and like the they can't stands, see, you can see yeah. over each other. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, yeah. It was kind of cool. I would just kind of look and uh, you know I was announcing to the crowd and just like just trying to find people and make eye contact with them. And, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Like, I was talking to one person and not like six hundred or seven hundred. Absolutely. Because like the ticket sales were for you know like more than I, they're more than I thought. I'd say if we got like three hundred, I would be like that. It's pretty good. Yeah. But I think we probably had. We had 500 going into race day. Yeah. And maybe I, more. I think more than I would, that. I would say yeah. we had probably seven, 800, somewhere in there. Yeah. 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 That's solid. And just a lot of love. Yeah. Uh, you know, and uh, you know, a great race. And, like, you all race so well. So, you know, it's crazy. I saw, I saw people from high school, grade school that I had not seen in <laughs> years. Uh, Remember me? So, so I don't know. That, that, that's just like, it, it, that's mind blowing in itself to, yeah. to see that kind of thing, too. Yeah. Well, uh, they're all coming to the to the after party. Uh, I'm hoping so. We yeah, have 200 good. spots reserved, so uh, yes, we're gonna definitely fill those. Do we have that whole bar, or it's? Yeah, we're I gonna mean, fill, we're, gonna, we're, gonna, we're, we're gonna, fill gonna fill the bar. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, it's gonna be sick. Yeah. Yeah. It's gonna be sick. Sweet. Yeah. Gotta ask business. how many uh, how many knots business. on the shoes today. Triple, triple knot of the shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I, it I, also wasn't a cluster, as cl no. much of a cluster as last and, year. And thankfully, I had my beers on the inside to grab, yeah. but I started on the outside of that. I was gonna uh, say, yeah. I noticed you, so you strategically wanted to start a little outside. Yeah. See, smart. like Gallagher and I were arguing about that, and I was like, I would want to be here because you're you're kind of pretty, you're protected. Yes. And you just start worrying about you're not worrying about an elbow into no. your beer on the yes. beer. So. Yeah, yeah. so yeah, we idea. were kind of just trying to decide how many people to like put on the outside, and I was like, like we were talking about putting because of the we had to really measure the lines, like yeah. the second line, and we're like, we put all sixteen out there, I'm like no, we can't do that. It's yeah, chaos. yeah, it's being on the inside. Marcus got out in front of me. Someone else did, and they collapsed in instantly. Yeah. And immediately, I was like boxed. So, so and we, I was like, yeah. what, so, "What am I boxed so, so, already?" So for future races, we need to have. It's almost like a sprint final where it's five. You know, it's five. You know, you guys need to be in the middle. Right, uh, right. You don't need to start in the order of your beer yeah. placement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I, I mean, no complaints. It was, I think great. It was, it was Marcus. Garrett got out first. Garrett got out. Marcus. Garrett left the inside lane open though, and Marcus. Yeah, was Garrett was in. just like letting so people I, pass. So I, I got out. I think like within the top five. Yeah. And snipped in just between you, before you, Marcus like, cut it. that off. Yeah. 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 And then you probably got caught up right there. And then I was right there, and yeah. I sat on Marcus until I could get around him. Yeah. 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 Ben Koski, yeah. holy shit. Dude, I mean he's a good runner. Well, I mean he was like our last call though. He was our last really? call, and he turned. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna he lie. Down. He I just down. I just assumed since he's like. He's, he works on a uh, milk farm, right? Yeah. Yeah. I, I assumed he was some sort of like down south boy, and he's like, nah, I'm down in Michigan. Yeah, yeah he's like, like, he's not like, too oh, far shit, away. Yeah, he's not yeah. far away at all. Michigan yeah, town. he's a triathlete yeah. as well, though. Yeah. So I yeah. mean, something for that. Yeah, he's yeah. tough. Like yeah. his his complaint coming in was he thought he was too slow, like didn't have the speed, but yeah. like, geez, he closed in probably 60. I, I, I don't honestly know. Honestly, yeah. think yeah. the BMI, every so, time uh, I come in with strength, I think it bodes better. The strength's than just better coming than in with speed. Yeah. It's almost like well, I was. A terrible beer miler, but I always always thought like run your 5k pace in between and then kick. Yeah, you know. Yeah. So uh, that's not, how you think about not, it. I mean, way. for someone who wasn't a pro at it, you know, I mean, like I, I you kind of have to think like how can I get through this and just just uh, the fastest way I can, even if it's not the way that you guys get through it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. For sure. Right. So, did you get an opener today, by the way? 
I uh, no, but uh, they were floating. Uh, they, I, there oh. was a box. Hey, there's a box. Full. I'm, I'm hey, sure. Did you get an opener today? I did not. <laughs> well, here you are, sir. Thank you. Did right. you get? You got I got an I used it. I used it. Okay. okay. So Dude, the fly monkeys is great. I'm Loved losing it. my voice, guys. So uh, I'm gonna let you guys finish your interview. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. I, I was. Good. I didn't know you were getting filmed. So, oh, don't. Uh, you, add, you added to it. So yeah. thank you. Yeah. Yeah. So. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's, it's done. We did it. We're, fill, we're filling her yeah, up. Bring it to the bar. Yes. I'll bring it to the bar. Yeah. All right. Yes. We're sure. letting Benkovsky have it. So. <laughs> yeah. That was, that was that was crazy. Awesome, man. Someone can drive me to. What else? Anything call. else? Go with us. Yeah. All right. Nah. It was just. Uh, <laughs> I mean, you you know how it is planning an event. Oh, totally. And then totally. Leading up to it, and then day of seeing everything sort of come together, and then it's yeah. finishing up. You're closing up, and you're just thankful everything came together. Evan had a good time. That's right. Um, all the pieces were put in place, so it's like it's a breath of fresh air. The beer mall went went well, well as yep. it could have gone. Yep. Yep. And uh, now now we celebrate after. Now we celebrate. Like, that's the only thing to do. I love it. I love it. Well, well, you know, it'll be a mystery whether you come back to the beer mile. We'll see. Like, but if anything, it'll be the the good thing is if you decide to do it, it'll be less stress next time. And then you know if you. Don't have that pressure. I feel like that's how you break through too. If you if you, if you want to, like yeah. you don't have to, but if you want to. They they warned the me actually. They said Chris last year he planned the event. He did so much day of lifting <laughs> all this and like it takes sometimes can take away and whether you see it now or see it down the road. Totally, totally. It, 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 it can sometimes add a little bit more stress and yeah. Although I don't feel like that right now, I, I, I think going into next year, if I choose to do Amsterdam, right. I'll just go in, I'll book my plane ticket and show up and be fit and ready to go. And it, it could make a difference. That's right, that's so right. We'll, that's we'll right. see. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Yeah. We'll see. All right. There's a rainbow <laughs> in the background. Uh, if that's an omen for anything. Uh... Oh, shit. Oh, my <laughs> gosh. Look fuck. at that. <laughs> that's actually, that's, that's actually sick. Wait, can you go to picture mode now? Yeah. <laughs> 